In this short video, we take a look at a second way to represent data visually. That is with something called a pie graph, also sometimes referred to as a circle graph. Let's take a look at the following circle graph from Statista. It represents the percent global market share for desktop operating systems in 2020. Now this circle graph actually has pictures in it too, right? It has this computer in the middle. And maybe sometimes you see this circle graph as what we call a pie graph. So we could take that circle graph and all the information on it and translate it also into a pie, right? Where this pie has 100% colored in and the different regions correspond to the different items in our chart. Namely, Windows operating system takes up 80.5% of that circle distance around the circle, or in our pie, 80.5% of the pie. The Chrome operating system takes up 10.8% of our pie. The Mac OS takes up 7.5% of our pie, and other operating systems take up 1.2%. All combined, when you add those percentages up, you should get 100%. Pie graphs or circle graphs are a wonderful way to visualize data, but they also help us to answer more questions. For instance, let's consider the following. If we survey 5,000 people, based on this information from this pie graph, how many would we expect to use a Mac OS operating system? Hmm, now how would we go about solving this problem? If we survey 5,000 people, how many would we expect to use Mac OS? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to see what percentage of the pie does the Mac OS operating system take up. And the Mac operating system takes up 7.5%. So we would say, first of all, that the Mac operating system takes up 7.5% of the whole pie. Now, if 5,000 people are surveyed, then that whole pie represents 5,000. So what we're really trying to do is take 7.5% of 5,000. And when we see that word of, we know what that means in math. That's multiplication. So what we're doing is we're taking 7.5% times 5,000. And what do we do when we have a percent and we're going to multiply it? We first convert it into a decimal. We move two places to the left. So that means we have 0 0.075 multiplied by 5,000 yields 375. That's the total number of people that we would expect to use a Mac OS operating system from this survey. Let's take a look at one final question related to our circle graph. Suppose now that we are told 14,000 people reported using Windows as their operating system. Approximately how many total people would we have expected to have been surveyed? So it's a new survey, a new problem, but from this survey, we are told that 14,000 people reported using Windows as their operating system. Based on that information, how many total people would we have expected to have been surveyed? This problem is very similar to our last problem, but it is slightly different. And the key is the fact that this number here that we're given, 14,000 people, doesn't pertain to the entire circle, like in the last example. This particular number pertains only to the people using Windows. Instead, we're looking for the total. But we can set it up in a similar fashion. So I'm going to write down a statement, and then I'm going to translate it into math. What is it that we know? We know that 80.5% of total people use Windows or equals Windows users, right? 
That's what we tell from this circle graph. 80.5% of the total people surveyed or collected for data are window users. We are told that 14,000 people are window users. We don't know the total number of people, so I'll put X there. But we do know 18.5% of X equals 14,000. And 18.5% translates into the decimal 0 0.0, nope, sorry, 0 0.805. Let me double check there. We move our decimal two places to the left. So that's 0 0.805. In other words, 0 0.805 times our total number of people is 14,000. This is the math equation that we can use to solve this problem. To solve this problem, we simply divide both sides of our equation by 0 0.805 on the left and the right. And that gives us our value for x. X is the total number of people in this particular survey. X is 14,000 divided by 0 0.805, and that is roughly 17,391.3 people can't really have a point people in there. So we'll round up and say that's equal to approximately 17,392 people. Whew. All right, that completes our mini discussion on circle graphs. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask.